Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Breaking News in Yuba County, which uh, was released February 12th, 2021, courtesy of American International Pictures. Uh, it's the seventh film directed by Tate Taylor, uh, reuniting with uh, several cast members uh, we've seen in his previous films, uh, and is being led by Allison Janney, who he most often works with. Uh, it's the first script from Amanda Adoko uh, in, in a narrative feature, uh, and it's a very... Coen Brothers-esque black comedy, but doesn't quite rise to the occasion that it should uh, on all levels and that it, it doesn't really seem to care for many of its characters. Uh, that said, there are a lot of entertaining things happening and it is a well enough constructed narrative considering all of the characters and narrative strands that uh, coalesce. Um, Janny plays Sue Buttons, uh, who is this uh, ignored, uh, housewife who's made to feel invisible. Uh, she does have a job, but still uh, she's made to feel invisible there as well. Her tick is uh, repeating daily uh, mantras and affirmations to herself. Uh, we meet her on her birthday. She has to pick up her own cake. She's made her own reservations. Her uh, husband, Carl, played by Matthew Modine, uh, also seems completely oblivious to her. Come to find, he's embroiled in his own uh, kind of hot water as he's been laundering money for a pair of uh, local hoods, Mina, played by Aquafina, and her cohort, Raj, played by Clifton Collins Jr. Uh, and Mina's father uh, has given them uh, $30 million to uh, put at the foot of Matthew Modine's uh, desk and told that he has to launder it immediately. Uh, he buckles under the pressure, he's tired of doing that, so he decides to uh, go meet his mistress, uh, Leah Norton, played by Bridget Everett, and take the money and run. Uh, but Allison Janney, who's been upset that uh, he hasn't responded to any of her texts about dinner, uh, ends up following him, discovers him uh, in coitus, and uh, he has a heart attack and dies. And then it's the ripple effects from what she does there. Uh, she chooses to bury his body at the playground outside of the motel. Uh, that causes a ripple effect, because then she goes on the news, she's desiring to be seen and have attention. Uh, her her half-sister, played by Mila Kunis, uh, is a, a television reporter, uh, although not a very notable one, and she sees this as an opportunity um, to make a story about her sister before Carl has effectively been um, reported missing. Uh, some uh, a detective, played by Regina Hall, who's kind of a, a shining uh, member of the cast, uh, of course, starts to investigate and suspect Sue, uh, but the other things going on with Aquafina and Clifton Collins throw everybody off the scent. Um, Juliette Lewis returns to work with Tay Taylor. She plays um, Gloria Michael, who's the uh, notable news outlet who has devoted herself to this other concurrent story about a little white girl that's gone missing. Uh, Sue very entertainingly finds a way to uh, align her missing husband with that narrative. Uh, so there are a lot of there are a lot of interesting elements. It just doesn't come off as either violent or dark or um, uh, speaking to a you know a current moment of media saturation. I mean, this is doing something that uh, 50, 60 years ago Billy Wilder did to much greater effect than something like Ace in the Hole. Uh, and instead of the Coen Brothers, it often feels like along the lines of a camp in the form of Drop Dead Gorgeous, which there's nothing wrong with that, and there's certainly uh, an audience like that. And this, to me, feels kind of like in the vein of Drop Dead Gorgeous, how in a decade people will probably revisit this and potentially find it more uh, entertaining. Uh, as it stands, there are just too many other things you could potentially compare it to that are uh, probably just a, a little harder edged, a little funnier even. Um, all, overall, I would give Breaking News in Yuba County two and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.